every day. Hi everybody, my name is Honaker, but I've said <coughs> that I was going to be different, because I was going to say that I was going to be really different every day, what I've said, but I know for everyone who said that, that I was strong, because they were going to find out that I was really bad, bad of that I was love, but if they say, but they're not saying that I was going to know about that, and everyone was going to say that I was really good, but then everybody said that they were just going to shadow their own lives backwards in time and tell me that the truth is that I will never yield and everybody said but they have them that they didn't know about that but that that was right but that's true but they have already said of them and timing taken but of back and they said but like if I when I first start here at the microphone I'm really tired and I don't know what to say every time but so then I just found my microphone now because it was taking forever to find any change to get extra smokes. But I've said, I got the, but I've say, I found all my lighters. I don't know what to do. There's too many. I lost all of them. But I don't have anywhere to go. I'm trying to get home still. This is Hannah Kermakillat. You can go to hannahkermakillat.com and read along on my website. I'm on there every day because I'm, I've never been able to go home again. <laughs> Every day, so said for where they think they said they are. But I can know that who I said I was. Everyone has to say that they were gonna say that they know about me. But I don't have to know about who you think you said you are. And I don't have to know about who you think you said you want to be. And I know that who you think you say you are, I don't know whether or not you believe in what is happening right now. But I haven't had my microphone at all since we had the beginning of World War Three. <laughs> Um, what happened, a lot of crazy things, was there was a war going on that we were calling Romeo and Juliet 14. But that's about um, this idea that what you ha did was enslave children. And you said that there was a way to believe that there was some kind of situation where less intelligence existed in the situation of... I mean, you have a crazy world where you thought that I could say children matter more to me. And that you could tell me that, that, that you could convince me that meant from fucking 4 to 9. And that before was baby. And child is this. I'm like an autistic, oh, you thought maybe autistic, you thought maybe Marxist, you thought socialist, you thought monster, you thought Nazi, you thought retard, you thought who is you think you said you are. It doesn't make any sense for you to know about who you think you said you are, but what do you think you have done is when people change the believing of what they've said, it's because they don't know better or they want to hurt you with what they're doing. And they can hear the truth and believe it, but if they're on something like narcotics, they're just gonna, they're gonna grass out and gas out and start doing like horrible, awful rat things to you. And it's really scary that everybody thinks that in real life that they could do a situation where they don't have to believe what was happened. But if you don't know about who King Drupa is, and I backed up, I, I wrote a list when, back when I first started calling the Dalai Lama, um, Tenzin Gyatso. When I first started calling him King Drupa, I had the list that I could find online of his of the names of every Dalai Lama before him. But that's what the story was: was that what, even while you have Gyatso as the last name, he was getting Drupa, and then he was this child prodigy who raised the order of monks. He was incredible, and they called him Dalai Lama. It was a name for this kid, Dalai Lama. And what happened is they lost their friend. They thought. He was gone. He, was, he died, or he was gone. They lost their friend. These monks of like this really good, fun-loving planet of people to have fun with. Like there wasn't like barking orders and shit. People could come and ask them what to do. Or how do we make love in the world better every day? And like how do we breathe and have fun and play? And so then this little child was brought up, and he had he picked of like a million of different toys. He picked the same toys that the other little kid had. had. So they thought that it was him telling them what to do, which was call this boy the Dalai Lama, like they had that child prodigy before, who raised the order of monks. And he was, he was super fucking good, but that happened every time. But they called him um, Gedin Gyatso. And Gyatso has been on the list, the surname for the Dalai Lama the entire time, but he's got millions of fucking names. So you know it's Dalai Lama, when it's Dalai Lama. That's who that is. But one thing they say they do for everything you do is knowing that Drupal is that first name for it. And we know that it's, since it's been the same Dalai Lama, people believe in what die and the spirit took a new body in someone's womb. 
Or they know that the story sounded more like he just restored this youth. Like he disappeared and they didn't know how to believe in eternal youth. But they were in agony. You do have to know that you were um, spiritually high of life. But they believed it was him when they started talking to their friend again. And they're playing on having sex all the time. And I don't know where you guys think you are. They knew it was him the same one. But they didn't even have to know that it was him restoring his youth across the whole planet. So you have these crazy, crazy, crazy people in media that's going on. And they keep on taking over situations like Disney saying that they own Power Rangers and they don't. They All they had was, look, where the fuck is anyone who had Power Rangers supposed to say, no, you don't have an ability to do that across the planet? Disney is fucking too many fucking media waves and airwaves. And now they say they own Fox? That's insane. You're not allowed to be a fucking never-ending communist organization. You're not allowed to put other things out of business by taking them. You don't get the resources of it. You have to win that somehow, I guess. But I don't know what you guys think is going on because all they have to do is say they have it. What if they they put all their forces instead into cutting off that someone could argue? Well, what happens is that they're communists in the first place. It doesn't belong to any person. So when they say they own it, like, what do you think is going on? Someone's allowed to argue? Who? Where? You just said you put the CEO out of a job, and the job is from to a communist engine. That means capitalist means communist, but of course it does. It's not going to be a four-sided thing. They'll use the swastika as many times as they want to tell you it's a different world. But this comes from something else entirely. So where do you think you are starting out for what you think you said you are? They're going to be really scary because what they started saying is that... <clears throat> I mean, like, as though you could want to go along with their raw, evil shit. They're all retards. They were saying that the Dalai Lama was getting old and there was pressure on to choose his replacement, Dalai Lama. That's the first time anyone on the fucking planet could have fucking heard anyone would fucking dare think anything. It was completely new and retarded. But, like, there were endless fucking articles from America and from Britain... From these fucking super fucking sicko fucking fascist planets. And constantly, constantly, people were warned to stop fucking saying Russia this and Russia this. And the Democrats are doing Russia's dirty work. Well, that was, that was like Mussolini attacks. That was Donald Trump attacked. That was a hate crime. That was a war crime. He committed on um, Twitter website. You have to know about that. You can do that. Democrats are club. Russians, not a club. It was really scary, but you're trying to get the autistic, the fucking sociopaths to try to act like the whole change of hum is, of hell is, or a hum of hell is changed to say that they could just say fucking Russia, fucking Russia, fucking Russia. And they think they have support from everyone around of police and things. How many of the police are those fucking psychotic criminals that do it? What happens if it's a fucking kid doing things on his computer and they think it's fucking, well, they can fucking hurt him for being the Russia hacker? He's not going to let you take him. He's not agree. Arrest is agree. You got to know that part. Yeah. Agree with the situation. You have to go quietly because what happened? Maybe you, it's, too, it's a stupid fight to just fight and kick the shit out of everybody. I know that for a situation. What is going on? I was, no one ever was ever going to hear about me. I was writing Superman the novel still. And I got arrested. And I was never, no one was ever gonna hear about me. Or they were gonna miss me and they were never gonna know what happened. Um, and every day. But said, so what happened? They were warned about what happened because people were getting a lot of leadership in Russia and there was a fucking anarchist youth monarchy. One of the free children across the planet that they grant no quarter to government bodies. They enslaved children. You said they were stupider than you and the scientific fucking realities okay sure it's crazy that I have to like deal with the people who are fucking thinking about fucking hell on highs for things but you understand that like you have that for every fucking oppression fucking sect you fucking outlawed later on you know that you said that the fucking they measure the cranium of a fucking man and a woman and they said women are less intelligent but do you know that like how many adults think they have standing and they're like trying to think that they can get a kid to abandon cool for their fucking socialist standing a fucking planet. But they were never cool on the playground. And they were bossy as fuck to children to start. They were never children. But that's how that works. 
there was never a world where you could say baby meant something that mattered because it was a fucking calendar day. But those aren't real dates. Those don't make any sense. But you've changed this fucking hum where, like, these socialists seem to think that they can do fucking anything. They'll get stressed out that you... What? The stressed out is stupid. It's a snake. They're not showing stressed out, but they don't have a situation for what you are. They can't relate to you. They're not like you. So what has happened, for what happened of going away, they said that the, the Dalai Lama, all kinds, of, all kinds of fucking fucked up articles, like in the Washington Post and shit, that they were going to fucking invade Tibet with fucking police and fucking politicians and fucking sickos and fucking library grabbers and fucking book burners and fucking replace the Dalai Lama, try and kill the Dalai Lama and fucking tell you they had a new one and it was a fucking politician. Chosen of a fucking what? It's not chosen from an order of monks ever. It's some years after his alleged death that a fucking child is announced by his fucking most trusted friends to be the, the Dalai Lama again. That's how that works always. So Russia invaded what you call as Greece and took Athens because it was a good point of contact. Why? Because they're going to kill all the people in Athens? No. But there's no fucking police or fucking social government of shit they weren't not planning to fucking rid the world of fucking people who could enslave children and use police to fucking grab kids off the fucking street so they took athens and they already had fucking support like they were there first which is called athens those fucking islands because greca is everywhere um but like the invasion of tibet the attempted invasion of tibet there were millions of fucking swords from fucking um, Korea and Japan and then in China um, coming in and fucking kids, just any fucking kid hearing what happened because they knew who the Dalai Lama is. That they were trying to fucking find and they were going to fucking take over like a police state. They were going to fucking destroy that we could have or have the Dalai Lama. That, that our, They were going to come after our friend. A super, like the most well-regarded humanitarian on the planet. A friend of fucking everyone good. So kids just fucking, duh, they get have money around. They just went out, flew out, both out to the bet right away. Fucking all over Asia. All over Asia. And there were fucking billions of fucking swords. Billions of fucking swords. And they were going out there to follow the leadership of somebody who's cool and famous every day. And they want to make sure that you guys can understand what happened, which is that they tr triggered World War Three. It was endless fucking fighting and insane fucking coverings and the media being as fucking psychotic as it is because of what they have is that they still have this fucking control over airwaves because you don't have fucking free television you don't have where you are. It's this corporate capitalist fucking planet of where you can fucking think is going on which is that they had that you still have to use the net you have to fucking like whether it's bought into the monopoly that exists. So what you have for where they are is that they're fascist as fuck on Reddit though. Holy shit. Holy shit, every fucking autistic troll piece of shit in the fucking world gets to fucking manage a Reddit on fucking some domain thing. Front page of the internet? But, like, that sounds fucked up because that should be fucking illegal to even fucking have started saying you are. Front page of the what? What do you mean front page of San Diego? Or did you just fucking, you have to look around and fucking find out that they fucking try to destroy every fucking news source in fucking San Diego? What the fuck do you mean front page of San Diego? Front page of the internet. Jesus fucking Christ, everybody. Nobody has to know about where you fucking thought you said you were. But the fucking allied forces that are against everybody evil are called Victorian. And this is World War Three. W W L I I W W L I I. We have Greek in rumorals. Rome never fucking existed. Lions fuck with bears. Did you know that lions fuck with bears outside caves? They'll fucking be roaring outside fucking caves and the bears will fucking kill each other and shit inside. That's fucking duh. That's fucking duh, but they don't they're not good at animal psychology. Why are the zebras sticking together, asshole? The zebra are fucking gnarly as fuck. Awful fucking shitty fucking creatures. Cause what? Fucking run. Fucking run like a horse and just keep running. They don't have horse bodies. They run like assholes. The ones that the horses, those are never, ever, ever in the herd. And lions don't fuck with them. But you act like they fucking t attacked and killed a fucking lion cub. And they're like, shit, that wasn't a fucking... Fuck, they didn't know it was a lion cub? Never, ever, you fucking sycophant. 
With the tiger, have you seen the movie um, Life of Pi? God, this is a fucking shitty movie. Where the tiger of attack Pi? Fucking the. If you put his for the fucking arm in the cage, yeah, he would have fucking killed you. But he's not gonna stay on the fucking lifeboat, you fucking freak. He don't stay on boats, idiot. He got out of the cage. He's fucking gone. He's in the ocean. He's fucking happy now. Stupid idiot. So, like, what the fuck ever has happened of it? Why? Because Pi's a little fucking shitlord. How come they're gorgeous, and you think that they don't know gorgeous as beauty is real life? That they love children and baby kids? And they're not gonna fall for fucking Steve Gollum. They're gonna kill him. In front of you? They're not stupid. They can tell when they're being watched? That's obvious. So they don't know what a fucking camera is and concepts of what lion is and where they are and what they think about? Yeah, they can see it, stupid. They know what the fucking camera is. It's not an impossible thing. It's right there. The camera, stop being so fucking ego fucking maniacal. So be so fucking vain to nothing. Vain in your fucking socialist menu that you could possibly fucking think that camera's not normal life. It's a normal fucking thing for an animal to fucking have. So where the fuck were you? God knows where the fucking camera is. So, like, what happens over there every day? Where's Brazil? Don't even start with the fucking Congo and the fucking rest of Africa to me. Do you know what you will find looking online for different kinds of animals in the Brazilian jungle? You get real fucking fast to either nothing or drawings. Of animals they know exist. Drawings. And you're like, oh, look, fucking unicorns. They're fucking right there. Every one in that fucking drawing is fucking different. Completely different, like fucking dryads. Those are obviously unicorns. Do you know what the fucking lions and that fucking piece of shit, fucking stupid ass fucking trend animal, fucking, um, or fucking caraged animal, fucking Lion King movie they came out with lately? They're trying to break all the pillars. They drink a whole vial of ooze, everybody. The last vial of ooze. He must have drank all of it. And then he's just hitting all the fucking pillars under the fucking dock. You gotta listen to reason, Disney. You're gonna destroy us all. But those they. And then he just follows and collapses and kills him. But that's say. Because they were like talking about him, talking to him, and talking to him. And he kept doing the shit. But you don't know what he's fucking doing. And he's just killing me in the beast stories. But this is all there. It doesn't matter. They have pillars in the world. We're not worried about that. No one's focused on what you said. Every day. So what they say? Oh, do you, do you know what those are? Those are called like a... Um, they're called the Bessiteri or Mama Walde. They're Akita. The kind of dog. Do you know what the Akita is? Look at the pictures of Akita. It's a Mama Walde. That's what those are. About two seconds you can breed the lion men. But those are... They've been around a long time. Why does Samson lose his strength? Cut his hair. Because he's a witch. They bred the lions for mange. That's what the fucking retards and the fucking... Evil of the ants we're fucking seeing is the oh did they heard the lions go the main whoa look at the fucking main I don't know what you said he was killing fucking not even Mama Wilde he was killing things that aren't really intelligent things cause like I don't know why you think Samson has the wherewithal to do anything but be nasty as fuck it doesn't make sense for that story to not just be a story to try and make sure that you understand Zadkiel was there that's Jehovah. Samson's a fucking sicko fucking witch. But it's a witch. That if you ever heard anything about Samson. I don't know the fucking idea that Samson could be Lord and God. Went away completely entirely. And fucking where they actually heard stories. Which is that you could fucking look into it. And understand anything. Is he's a witch. He thought his power could be in his mane. But like what happens is he get his hair cut. And um, it wasn't that he didn't think. He was better than he'd ever been before, which means he was never going to be a fighter again. That's that guy's psychosis. But that's a fucking psychotic artistic. So, like, what do you guys think is... Or Asperger's. Do you guys know what they said? Asperger's. Jack off his sore ass. Do you know what the fuck they are? You get that so many shit... What's, listen on class when you're hitting everybody. What they've said, and when you say something, and someone tries to fuck with you, understand that there's a word you can throw out real fast, which is a fucking oppressor. But that happens a lot. They want to kill magic in the classroom. Oppression is really a big deal. But you're super, super, super fucking oppressed right now. 
Do you know what the acre bomb is? Do you know you could fucking probably figure out and build a fucking acre bomb at school? If you work together at a school, you're not building don't buy bombs at school. You're not bu- there's no bombs at school. I'm saying that you're like your school has the intelligence to build a bomb that fucking blows up a fucking acre. Yes, it rips a fucking earth apart. I said an acre and it hit the ground. Okay? You really think fucking D-Day happened? Are you fucking stupid? I know that you had a lot of shit to focus on and people were really fucking scary around you. A lot of the kids who are fucking way too sharp were undercover because they couldn't fucking remember that kind of shit. But I'm immortal. Fucking Bill Skarsgård's immortal. That's River Phoenix. Um, fucking Liam Neeson's immortal. Fucking shit, a lot of people are immortal. Reese Witherspoon's immortal. 